Democrats had $200 million. Do you, do you think that this will just drag out based on the fact that a lot of the big ticket free agents have already signed and they're waiting for that pitching market, that bump for Rodon to happen? Well, he's the number one free agent pitcher who's on the market right now. So as soon as I would say, Bob, that it might drag on, there could be a phone call or a text that changes everything. So I'm always hesitant to say that. You see who Rodon has been since 2021. He has put together two terrific seasons heading into his free agency period. But you look at some of the teams that might be interested in him that we've heard about. The Red Sox are one of them. The Twins are one of them. The Cardinals have been mentioned. Even though the Giants have added Manaya and Stripling, reports out of San Francisco say that they are still interested in Rodon. Are any of those teams going to seven years, 200 million? I'll repeat myself. Again, it could happen. We have seen the way that this offseason has unfolded. We have seen player contracts of more than $2 billion. Every time a contract is signed, you say to yourself, wow, that's for a little more than I thought it was going to be. But I think we have to remind ourselves the Yankees definitely have interest in this player. They have interest in this player, though, in the financial neighborhood that they want to travel. We'll see if those two sides can coincide. All right, Michael, in the meantime, what else do the Yankees, what are they looking at right now? Probably still focusing on left field? Well, I'll tell you what, I'm the one that reported that other than Rodon, they were working on something even bigger than that. And it looks like I might have egg on my face, although Brian Cashman is usually very stealth about what he does and when he does it and how he does it. Sometimes he surprises you. I think left field is still the big play. I can't imagine another play out there, but uh, that seems like it's cool just a little bit. I'm sure they want to do the Rodon situation first, but if they can't do it and it goes into 2023, then they might go for the left fielder. I don't know if they're in play on, on, on Brian Reynolds. Reynolds from the Pirates. I know that Ben Intendi is right there. Ben Intendi's market might have changed with the Japanese outfield that the Red Sox signed. He's probably thinking, I'm, I'm a legitimate guy who's proven in the big leagues that I could play. I've won a World Series as well, and he probably wants money like that. I'm not sure the Yankees are going to go there for that. Yeah, apples to apples, I think, is what his agent is trying to say. If the Red Sox gave him that much money, why not Ben Intendi? Right, and if you're Ben Intendi's right. agent, that's exactly what you should be seeking, Bob. I know in talking to two teams today, that are interested in Ben Benintendi, they both said that they're hesitant to go to five years. And I always wonder how these conversations unfold because you know Ben Benintendi's agent is bringing up Yoshida, whereas I'm sure there are teams who are saying, why should we pay for Boston's mistake? Because I had a team that said to me, they feel that not only did the Red Sox overpay, they felt that they overpaid by double, that they had Yoshida as a guy in the 45 to $50 million range. But, Michael, I need to, I, Bob, I need to go back to Michael, my, my former baseball writing brethren. He <laughs> says he's got egg on his face. Michael, you got to stand firm on your reporting. If you believed in your source and you believe that the Yankees still have something brewing, perhaps it's still simmering. Perhaps it hasn't percolated and reached the finish line yet.